I guess I'm not a real dragon, Crispin thought. He worried that his family would be disappointed, so he ran away from home. The world can be a scary place for a little dragon who can't breathe fire. Crispin found a dark cave. I'll be a fireless dragon all by myself. I won't bother anyone, and no one will bother me. An hour later, he had a visitor. I am Sir George. Squeaked a thin, shiny knight. Show yourself, dragon. Crispin shoveled out of the cave. The thin, shiny knight held up his thin, shiny sword. D, d, do your worst, dragon. Crispin opened his mouth, but fire did not come out. Soap bubbles came out. Don't you breathe fire, dragon? Crispin shook his head. I can't, Sir George moaned. But my father insists that I fight a fire-breathing dragon. It even says here in my book that your typical dragon breathes fire. I'm not your typical dragon, Crispin explained. Sir George sighed. I can't go home. Me neither, Crispin nodded. But then he had an idea. Maybe your book could tell us what to do.